Hello guys, welcome, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a house track like Dubvision. So, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to like this video, and let's get into the video. First, set the tempo to 128 BPM, and add some chords like this. Create a cutoff automation to it. Add some pads like this. For the mixing, I cut the lows, and added some reverb. For the breakdown, add some claps. Add a vocal. For the vocal processing, I added a manipulator, and some reverb. Here's how the intro and breakdown sounds like. Let's start the build up. Guys, I'm making this track in the style of their song Take My Mind, and it has a very small build up. So, Add some build up drums with a volume automation. Add some risers. And this is how our build up sounds like. Before the drop hits, add the drop leads with a filter cut off automation. Add some strings. Add some risers and down filters. Now let's start the drop. Add a kick. A clap. And some rides. At the second part of the drop, add a hi-hat loop like this. Some more hi-hats. Don't forget to add a crash. Guys, the drop leads consist of four different sounds. This is the first one. For the mixing, I added some side chain and some EQ. Here's the second one. I added some side chain and some EQ to it. Here's the third one. For the mixing, I added some side chain, some EQ, and some blood overdrive. This is the fourth sound. I added some side chain, some EQ, and some sound goodizer. For the bus channel, I added some OTT, some stereo widening, some reverb, and a fruity filter to create a cutoff automation. Here's how all the leads sound like. Then, added the string playing the same note to keep the same tension going throughout the drop. I added some side chain, some EQ, and a fruity filter to create a resonance automation. The drop bass consists of two different sounds. Here's the first one. For the processing, I added some side chain, and some EQ. Here's the second sound.
I added some side chain, and some EQ to it. For the bus channel, I added some OTT, some stereo widening, and fruity filter to add some resonance. Here's how all the bass sounds sound like. Add that sub bass. I added some side chain, some EQ, and some reverb. So guys, our track is done. Make sure to like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're not, and let's see our final result.